Number 1 Palais de Royce de Major K. The Kingdom of Majorca didn't control Perpignan for much more than 70 years, from 1276 to 1349, but you can still see the mark it made on the city. The palace occupies a large elevated space to the south of Perpignan's old center, and was built to be the seat of power for the entire kingdom. Number 2 Perpignan Cathedral Started in the 1300s, this building didn't actually become Perpignan's cathedral until the beginning of the 1600s when the sea was relocated here from nearby Elne. Like nearly all of the city's medieval architecture, it has a southern Gothic design, and its construction was ordered by King Sancho II of Majorca. Number 3 Perpignan Castellet The city's most photographed site is the tough gatehouse that commanded the main entranceway to the city from the 1300s onwards. The tower goes back to the Kingdom of Majorca and was built with bricks and marble and crowned with outsized decorative crenellations. Number 4 Hotel de Ville Founded in the early 1300s under the orders of King Sancho I, the Hall of the Consuls was the ancestor of Perpignan's City Hall, where the city's representatives would meet. The hall, with its fabulous 15th-century coffered wooden ceiling, is still at the heart of the complex and is now used for weddings. Number 5 Loge de Mer John I of Aragon ordered this Gothic civic building to be constructed in the late 14th century to help regulate sea trade, it was the stock exchange and sea consulate office, and so the hub of commerce in the old center, but also housed the town hall for a time. Number 6 Musée de Monet's et Medales, Joseph Quigg On Avenue de Grande Bretagne is the Belle Epoque Villa Les Tilles built in 1907 and designed by Vigo Dorf Peterson, a Danish architect responsible for many palatial bourgeois houses and chateaus in and around Perpignan at the turn of the century. Number 7 Hotel Pams Tucked down Rue Emile Zola, this bourgeois mansion was transformed in the late 1890s for the prominent politician Jules Pams, who would become Minister of the Interior during the First World War. Number 8 Casa Zanxo a Catalan Gothic mansion in the Old Town, Casa Zanxo was built at the start of the 16th century for Bernat Zanxo who was a rich merchant draper. As you pass on Rue de la Main de Fer you can tell from the large marble archival entrance and sculpted stonework in the façade that this was a home designed to convey wealth. Number 9 Fort de Salses A few kilometers north of the city was the former border between Spain and France, which was the scene of some notoriously bloody battles and sieges. The Spanish-built Fort de Salses witnessed many of these conflicts, and was commissioned by the Catholic monarchs at the end of the 15th century. Number 10 Torrel's Plage Argiles Anyone craving some randar by the Mediterranean will be in luck as two of the top beaches in languedoc roussillon are less than 20 kilometers away. Starting in the south, Argiles is a wide tranche of silky white sand that seems to go on forever. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.